four-year-old Cody wandered off and we don't believe that he was abducted. We think that our investigative efforts based on the interviews that we've conducted uh, should remain in this area. We in particular are interested in even more help from the public than we've already received. We would like anyone in this area or who has been close to this area recently to look at any surveillance video that they may have, look and see if there are any photos that they may have captured in this area that may have something that we would be interested in. If there is anybody who has any knowledge of the last time Cody was out and about in the city of Hampton or elsewhere, we want to know. That is, at any point in time, if anyone has seen the child that uh, you've seen his photo, hopefully, hopefully we've all shared his photo, we are interested in speaking to anyone who has ever seen him. That information is going to be very important to us. In particular, if we could focus our attention on the time that extends from around noon this past Sunday up until yesterday morning at nine o'clock. We are really interested in speaking to people who may have been in this area around those times. That would be very helpful to us. Sergeant Williams will talk more about how to get that information to us. Uh, and, and again, that's what we're gonna be focusing our attention on. I will say we continue to speak to the people responsible for Cody's safety. Uh, they are still talking to us. They are still answering our questions. We still believe that they are the key to us finding out where he might be and what may have happened to him. Is that why there's no Amber Alert? There is no Amber Alert because we've worked with uh, Virginia State Police to discuss the criteria, which we are uh, deeply familiar with. This case is not an Amber Alert case. Sergeant Williams will talk more about uh, that as well. So Sergeant Williams will, will be able to talk about that as well. All right, I'm gonna let him uh, speak and then we can, we can hit questions. Good morning, thank you all. So some additional points that we wanna cover this morning is we are establishing a role for the general public to help us assist in this search. So at the conclusion of this press conference, we're going to have a link available on our social media sites um, that enables the public to sign up to assist us. At this time, we're only seeking the first 50 volunteers. Um, we need to be able to coordinate the volunteers and be able to determine uh, where they're searching and uh, have an accurate um, and, uh, way to track where those volunteers are going to be working with our staff. Um, some important things to know about that is uh, the volunteers need to be capable of walking long distances outside in the cold weather and we're asking them to have a valid photo ID available. Um, as I said, the first 50 are only going to be used and after you sign up, please wait to be contacted. We'll contact you if we need you. Uh, additionally, um, I want to reiterate the point that uh, Chief Talbot said about we're seeking information on when the public saw Cody last. When, he wa when that was, where he was, who he was with, and what they were doing. That information is extremely important to us and it's extremely important to the investigation. You can get that information to us um, by visiting p3tips.com. You can follow the prompts on there to submit a tip to Hampton Police and we'll be able to receive and review those tips. We might not be able to respond to every tip that we receive, but it's important to know that we have received it and we're going to pass it on to the appropriate personnel. You can also contact us at the crime line at 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. With regard to the Amber Alert, 
Um, we've received numerous questions in terms of why an Amber Alert has not been issued. Um, we have basically determined that the criteria for the Amber Alert has not been met. We have conferred with state police on numerous occasions to confirm that that criteria is not met. And the specific elements of the criteria that has not been met re refers to, um, at this point, we don't believe that an abduction has taken place. There's no information to uh, lead investigators to believe that Cody has been abducted and we don't have information to pass on or to fit the criteria um, with regard to that element. Another element would be who the abductor would be, where that abductor is traveling, what they're wearing, what vehicle they're in. That element of the criteria simply does not exist. So aside from that, we're using all of our available resources to put this information and get it out to the public. Of course, with the media's assistance, all of our social media, this story has been shared hundreds of thousands of times, and we ask you to continue to share that to get this information out. That's all I have for you this morning, and we'll take questions as we can answer them to the best of our ability. Is Cody's mom in town? Is she here in town? Cody's mom is in town, and, and we are speaking to her. There are a number of people beyond his parents that we are speaking to. Why don't you believe he was abducted? Why is Quincy gone? The investigation does not indicate that he was abducted. There's just no reason to believe it. We certainly are open to that as a possibility. It is not likely. So the circumstances surrounding when he was last seen, is that reliable information to put out? Or? No, it is not reliable. I do not want to comment on that. Is that the reason for the new timeline with the not reliable information from family? Uh, the evidence that we have does not completely match the stories that we have received at this point. So we are opening up our um, focus in terms of the time that we are interested in. We will work as if he's out there uh, waiting for us to find him. Should we read into any similarities here with the Noah Thomas case? Or? I don't have a comment. What agencies are involved in the search at this point? Sergeant Williams. So the biggest agency that has joined the search this morning is the Virginia Department of Emergency Management. Um, they will be bringing in additional resources and personnel to assist in the search. What are those resources that they have available? Staff, equipment, um, mainly staff and equipment at this point. Personnel, expertise, things of that nature. Can you talk a little bit about the decision to let the community help with the search and, and sort of why that was made? Was sure. Uh, we have a role to play for, for our residents. Uh, not only will the residents be instrumental in getting us the information that we need to figure out what happened, and, and uh, make no mistake about it, the information is here. We believe the information is here. We want uh, to bring the residents into this uh, in a way that makes sense given the, our resources and given what we know. Uh, and uh, what we learned throughout the investigative process uh, has led us to want to bring the public in to expand the possibility of, of searching not only what we've already done, we're going to have them go back and, and, and look again to make sure uh, you know, sometime in the middle of the night we didn't miss a small detail that might be instrumental. Uh, but uh, as I said, there, there's a role to play here. Can you kind of uh, I do not have her name. Can you kind of narrow in on where this information is? Are we talking about, you know, he could be here in this neighborhood in Hampton on the peninsula? Like, what's the circumference of this search zone? It is likely that he is here in the city of Hampton. It is, it is more likely that he is here close to 
his his home, which is adjacent to me here to my left and to your right. So so the further that we get away from his home, the less likely it is that he's going to be found and, and the less likely that we're going to find information. We haven't ruled anything out. Uh, we, we are uh, searching the hardest in the areas where he is most likely to be found, obviously, but uh, he was also with his dad, right? further out. That was the situation. It was just him and his dad in the house. Correct. Okay. Chief, can you expand a little bit on? You just said that the evidence does not match the stories we have heard. Can you expand on that? What do you mean by that? I, I, I think that's self-explanatory. The evidence doesn't match what we've been told. So we need to investigate further and, and we need the help of the public so that we can find anybody who may have seen this child or even anything that uh, might be related to this investigation. Uh, we feel strongly that somebody listening can be helpful. We feel very strongly about that. Have the parents not told you enough to connect the dots on the stories that are not adding up with the evidence that there is? We probably won't know for certain uh, how much is being left out until we find this child. But isn't that really the concerning thing that the parents, the people that were responsible for his safety, are telling you stories that are not adding up to the evidence that you have? That, that, that is... That is... The, the crux of the investigation. We, we, we have to figure that out. And last night, we had saw crews searching through dumpsters in the neighborhood. Is that just part of searching the whole area? Or? Right. We, we will search every place he could possibly be. Every place he could possibly be, we, we will look. We're not searching dumpsters because we believe he's there. We, we are searching dumpsters because he could be there. Uh, there was a dumpster uh, search last night. Nothing what does something come from that? Uh, I can answer that, Chief. So as with any investigation, with regard to specific, specific evidence that we find or did not find, we're unable to go into that at this time. So anything, any questions that re re regard um, evidence that we're locating or have located, we're not able to expand on that at this time. That is a possibility. There is a person of interest. We are most interested in uh, Cody's parents. Are there any water searches going on in the area this time? Yes. And are you doing a door-to-door -door search uh, around here as well, I'm assuming? Yes. Are you all working with any other search parties um, that aren't related? Yes. What was the situation with Cody's parents? They were separated or not together? Cody's parents do not live together. Thank you.